Hello, my friends, and that God may bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I would like to make a point to all of you in regard to the will of God. Someone asked me, what is the will of God? What does God want for my life? What does He want me to do? This is a question, one of many questions about the will of God. And then I answer, the will of God is that we may walk in righteousness and that we may turn our back onto the unrighteousness. So everything that is wrong is against the will of God. So every day, every day, me, you, all of us, we have to decide between doing what is right and what is wrong. If we choose to do what is right according to the word of God, what is righteous, what is right, and then we are doing the will of God. And this will of God has a return. Because when we please a person by doing their will, then, in return, we also have the person pleasing us. It's that simple. It's very simple. David himself said, Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will satisfy the desire of your heart. So, God knows what is inside the heart of each one of us. But He will only answer to our heart to do the will of our heart when we first do His will, when we do what He asks of us. For instance, you are listening to me at this moment and carry inside of you grudges, rancors, jealousy, wrath, resentments. And then, how will you be able to do the will of God being within this context, being into this unrighteousness? You have to forgive. But how am I going to forgive if the person who was the one who did wrong against me? Well, the same happened to me. We asked God for forgiveness for something that he didn't do what was wrong. We ask God for forgiveness for our reason. He died in holiness for us. So you don't need to think on the other part but on yourself when it comes to resentments. The person sinned, hurt you, he did what they shouldn't do, etc. But by the reason that you just carry the resentment against that person, I know it's something natural, it's natural, but you are already sinning, so you also have to ask for forgiveness. You have to recognize that all of us are subject to mistakes and flaws and etc. So even if this may not solve the problem, this explanation may not solve the problem, but Jesus said, forgive. Because if we don't forgive, how can we receive forgiveness? So this is a commandment. In the prayer the Lord taught us, He said, He teaches to pray like this, and forgive us our sins as we forgive our debtors. Which means, if I don't sin my debtors, if I don't forgive those who offended me, then I don't have the forgiveness as well. It's give and receive, it's a practical thing. So, dear friends, I know that it's hard, cruel, but more cruel is what the Lord Jesus faced on the cross on our behalf. So we don't need to evaluate if it's fair or unfair. Let's obey the Word of God. So when we obey the Word of God, when we obey, follow, practice,
then we are doing His will. And obviously, when we put on the effort to do His will, He who is seen, and He for sure will come down to solve the problems of our soul. Is that okay? So here is a tip for you who are facing, for instance, for example, the great necessity to receive the Holy Spirit. You cannot receive the Holy Spirit with a heart filled with grudges. You have to forgive. You have to set yourself free from these grudges. You have to set yourself free from the resentments. This is practical. Even if your heart does not want, but if your mind, your spirit wants, if your spirit says, your head says, no, I want to forgive and I forgive that person, even if the heart screams, it get desperate, it doesn't matter. Obey the voice of conscience, the voice of reason, the voice of God. And you are the one who is going to be benefited by it. Is that okay? So that God may bless you all. Tonight we're going to be here at the temple of Solomon at 8 p.m. Dealing about the evil day. The evil day. Because even if all of us we have the Holy Spirit, we also go through evil days, hardships moments that are cruel and if we don't have the Holy Spirit we cannot handle we leave everything behind and we dive full into hell that's the reality so dear friends tonight here at the temple of Solomon God bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Amen